All right, so we're back. Now we're going to check out the compose mode. So this is basically manual section 4.2 compose mode. We're also going to just going to go through single track view and reset slash pause because that's super easy. Um, all right, so compose mode. I've said this before in a previous video. Compose mode is the basic sequencing function of Metron. So this is just where you're sequencing. If you're in any other mode at any other time, say you're just in burst mode, just hit compose. That'll get you out. You're in memory. If you don't know where you are, just hit compose, and that's just going to get you back to where you need to be. So this is where you enter sequences. So we'll just enter a quick little thing here. All right, so that's our quick little beat. And so as I've covered the matrix here, this is where you input stuff. Uh, this is where you input your steps. The track groups is how you move from uh, the groups of four tracks all the way through from one all the way to 16. And um, that's basically that. So, so now we're gonna go into quick burst and quick gate. So real quick, what's a trigger, what's a gate? A trigger is just a quick blip of voltage that's like an action signal telling a module to perform its action. So a drum module, they love triggers, they just go. Other things need gates, which is voltage high over time. So you can actually leave the voltage high so you can have a voice like sustain or something like that. And then a burst is multiple triggers per step. So that's how you get like a, like a ratchet kind of thing. So first and foremost, we're just gonna make a quick burst. So we've got our hi-hats going. I'll change up our hi-hat pattern, make it a little bit more, just we'll do 16th notes. And so in order to enter bursts very quickly, we're just gonna hold the step we wanna enter the burst on, and we're gonna turn encoder two. Watch the current step window, and you can do three per step, four per step, or I already passed two per steps. So now we'll just go through here, and we'll make all of these two per step. That's basically how you make that ratchet kind of trap sound. So now let's make some, let's make a gate. So we'll go through here and we'll make our uh, sequence for our architect. And architect is running, its gate output is running through an ADSR VCA envelope. So we could actually leave the gate high and make a little bit more of a rhythmic statement. So in order to do that and make it really clear, I'm just gonna clear out our step our step triggers, and I'm just gonna hold the step I wanna enter the gate on. I'll turn encoder one, and you can see this goes to 100 because I'm entering 100% gates out. So I'm entering 100% gates past my first step that I'm actually holding. So I can go forward and back. So let's just do a four step here, and then we'll wanna change this guy to 75%. That way I can start a new trigger here. And then I'll add a new gate here. And then why don't I just turn all of these into bursts? And this guy, I'll move back to 75%. So now I've got a pretty interesting gate pattern with gates and bursts. So experiment with that. It's a really quick way to do bursts and gates. Um, there's also this burst and gate mode as well as random. I'll go into that in another video. Single track view. So we've had a lot of requests for this feature. So it's just something that was kind of a customer design choice. So I'm going to make our pattern here. So as you can see, you know, you can see 16 steps at a time and you can see four tracks, right? Well, what if you want to see 64 steps at a time, just one track? Well, you can do that. With these track buttons, you can just hold a track and now you can see that this guy comes all the way out to here. All of these LEDs are turned off because the pattern isn't that long. So I can hold pattern length while I'm holding this single track view and move my pattern length out. And now you can see that my kick drum pattern goes all the way out here. So I can add stuff in here, add a new pattern, and you can watch the cursor go through. This is just like it's going through pages, except for it's just going down the line. So now let's say we want to latch in this mode. We just hit the compose button while we're holding that track. This makes it so you don't have to keep holding. You can change your pattern length inside of there and get super weird with it. We can also go back to the normal one and then yeah, you can just do anything inside of this single track view. While you're in single track view, you can even do the burst and gate modes.
and we're still in the single track view. So this is just more of like a TR way of sequencing. To exit that mode, just hit compose again or the single track that you're actually editing and that'll get you out of there. You can also switch track views that you're looking at while we're latched into single track view. But to get out, you just hit the, hit the same one you're editing or hit compose as always to get back out of there. All right, so reset, you can see that now that I'm back in compose mode, my kick drums uh, cursor is completely off from everything else. So I'm just gonna say pattern length, uh, one page. I'm still off of here. So I'll just hit reset. This resets all playheads back to number one. And this kind of sounds weird, so I'm just gonna redo my kick drum real quick. And yeah, so reset is really great if you're trying to sync something on beat one, you can do that manually, or you can do that with a reset input. So to pause your sequencer, if you just wanna stop the clock, you just hold record and hit reset. And as you can see, I stopped it on step two. So while the sequencer is paused, you can reset back to step one. To unpause, just do the same thing. Record and then reset. And that gets you the that gets you unpaused. That works for external clock as well as internal clock. If you ever want to just stop your sequencer, just hold record, hit reset, that'll just stop the whole thing. To unpause it, hit record, hit reset again. So those are the basic functions. That's compose mode. Stick around and we'll get a little bit more into some more advanced sequencing soon.